This crocodile was too cunning. While his friend the octopus did not pay attention to it. He secretly eats his feet every night. This cunning crocodile has lived for more than 3,000 years. Because of his advanced age, he can no longer hunt. In order not to starve to death, he even ate his own child. However, this cruel scene was seen by other fellow crocodiles. So that there are no more poor crocodiles. The crocodile community meets and discusses together. Then decided to end the life of the cunning crocodile. But what they didn't expect was. This sneaky crocodile's skin was very thick. Even if the entire community came to tear him apart. His skin wouldn't even peel off. No way. The crocodile community can only boycott the sneaky crocodile. After being chased out of the area. This cunning crocodile swam into the river next to the island. Here he met an octopus. The two became good friends. Because he couldn't hunt. Every day the octopus had to hunt for him. Although hunting became increasingly difficult. And there was very little food. He didn't eat all of it. But kept some for his friend. Until one night. This crocodile was so hungry that he couldn't sleep. He looked at his friend's nine legs. His eyes couldn't be more cunning. He thought that his friend had so many legs. If he ate one leg. It would be fine. So he gnawed at one of his friend's legs. The next day. The octopus woke up unaware that it had lost one of its legs. He even kindly called his friend up for breakfast. Now the cunning crocodile asked the octopus how many legs it had. The octopus looked at his feet and said he has nine legs. The sly crocodile saw the stupidity of his friend who couldn't count the number. Then he calmed down and continued to sleep. From that day on, at noon, the cunning crocodile would eat the food his friend gave him and at night will eat his friend's feet. With that, time slowly passed the octopus legs were all eaten. Not a single one was left. Now all that's left is his head. At this time, the octopus just realized that it can't swim like before. This crocodile told the octopus. Probably because he had arthritis. So he lost the ability to move. Then pretending to go looking for food for the octopus. Octopus saw that his friend was also kind. So he didn't stop him. But he didn't expect his friend to be so cunning. Midnight. He was hungry again and saw his friend in front of him. He imagined very delicious. After a moment of thought. He still chose to chew on his friend's head while crying and innocent. After eating. He lay down again to mourn his friend. The days without the octopus. Can only live adrift in the sea. Somehow. Miraculously he floated back to where he came from. However. The crocodile's friend saw the color of his skin which was dyed red by seawater and was afraid and left. Seeing everyone leaving him. The crocodile in his heart felt very lost. Even friends of his ilk couldn't accept it. He felt insignificant in his hometown. Now he went to another island. This time he would not eat again. He would go on a hunger strike as a penitential behavior. But when he woke up. He saw a strange human dancing before his eyes. Humans even knelt down for him. Looking at the strange human in front of him. He found it very difficult to understand. Apparently because of his red skin color. People thought he was the legendary crocodile god. So. They brought him back to the tribe and served him like a god. Just like that. He could live for another thousand years. But if one day the humans found out that he wasn't a god at all. What will be the end of his life? Everyone. If anyone can guess the ending of this crocodile, please leave a comment. See you all again.